Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode I had a bit of an itch, so I'm going to show you guys how to scratch it. So I needed to design this to uh, be received by, probably this end is a little bit better, i got to clean up the other end. Um, to, for feet on a maker rail project I'm doing, you guys are going to see in another episode. However, I need to design up something a little bit different. I've done something like this in the past, but again, I wanted something a little bit different. Necessity is the mother of invention. Father is, what is it? To, there's multiple fathers to success until they go see Maury Povich. I don't know, something like that. But anyways, tell you what, let's hop into the computer. Let's see how I designed these, what my thinking was as I did it basically in real time. And then let's come back here and take a look at them. Okay, here we are in the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a cube. And I'm going to bring my ruler in to match my cube. And then, so I'm luckily I'm starting out with 20 by 20. I guess it's not luckily, I could change it. Uh, however, my maker rail is going to be 20 by 20. However, the thickness is what I'm going to change. So I'm going to drop this down to 5. We don't need it to be that thick. So I now have my basic block, if you will. So now one of the first things I have to do is I need to create a bolt pass through. So I'm going to go ahead and this is actually going to be 4.6 millimeters by 4.6 millimeters. And I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees and then just move this over. And then um, what we're going to do is use my favorite tool. And we're going to align this bad boy, and we already aligned in this set, uh, orientation, sorry. Just kind of looking at it, so let's zoom in a little bit. So you see I have my bolt hole, which will pass through the exact middle. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in another one. I want to, whoops, I wanted to do something here. I just want to, I want the sides to be clean on this. So I'm going to pull up the sides to 64. Uh, same thing on this other hole. I like clean side. It takes more compute power, but I think it's worth it. So I'm going to create a little bit of a recess. I'm going to make this recess uh, 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters, and I'm going to rotate this also by 90 degrees. And I'm going to move this through here, and uh, I too am going to align this. Now I technically could have did this last line in one step. Um, but I decided not to, which is just sort of personal preference because I wanted to see where this would land. Now I'm going to pull this back until I come out. So you see I'm outside of this, and I could use the ruler to measure it. It's not going to be specific. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, the idea is, is just to uh, get it granular. So. Uh, the pieces I'm coming in contact. If you notice down here, I've got a point. I've got a one millimeter. So if I hit this, it's about one millimeter deep. And again, I just want a little recess. And this is actually more cosmetic than anything, but I like the idea. Uh, okay, so we pretty much have that in place. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and join these. And so I've got that piece all. Uh, spec'd out. So what I need to do is now put the angles for the feet. So I'm going to pull in a roof. Uh, maybe I don't want a roof. Maybe I want a wedge. I am going to use a wedge instead. Sorry guys. And then again we're going to make this wedge 20 high which I believe it already is. And then we're simply going to make this a width of 20 and I think I've got the right one. I'm gonna make it a width of five and so that should align up and now I'm gonna go 20 out. Now I want to think about this a second. Yeah I should be okay at 20 out. Um, I'm just thinking here. So before I do the commit to this this joint because a lot of it sometimes is thinking about where are you, where are you going to make your joints at. I try to group up as many joints as possible. Uh, now I'm going to have this now my feet are going to actually be about 38.4 so um, 38.4 and 38.4 and I'm going to only make them three millimeters tall and then I'm going to get rid of this nastiness on the curve 
And then, so what I want to do is kind of see how this centers up. Um, because I actually think what I'm going to do for these pads is, again, go to my favorite tool. Whoops, that's not my favorite tool. Line is my favorite tool. I guess having that like that doesn't really matter. And so I'm going to align this at this edge. So I've got it centered and I've got it aligned. And then what will happen is it will bump up against this. And I'm pretty good with this. this these are pretty big feet. So I'm going to join this like this. I, I want to change the color because I don't like that color. It's a little bit hard to see. So now what I'm going to do is simply um, replicate it with a control C. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whip this baby around. 180 degrees and then I'm going to now bring this back into the middle. I just want to take a look at that. So yeah, that would be pretty stable uh, with kind of a minimalistic footprint. Now the other piece I want to do for this maker uh, rail is I need to do something else here. And what I need to do is I need to add sort of a, a stop block since it's only a uh, 20 by 20. So I'm going to add a six millimeter by, oh, say six millimeter high. I think that should be good. And then I'm going to make it, uh, oh gosh, eh, maybe about six mil. No, I want to go a little bit longer than six. Some of this is a little bit of uh, guesstimation because I'm going to put this in. So I know I'm pretty good at six. Um, I'm just kind of thinking here. How tall is that? Yeah, I should be pretty good at six. So six by six by six. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this in here. And, um, you know, I guess I really don't need it as, as long as I... Let me take a look here. I don't want to poking through the other side. Uh, let's go ahead and use my favorite tool again to kind of center this whole thing and then I want to take a look at it because what will happen is this will slide into the um, the maker rail to keep it from ratcheting because it's only got one piece and we're cinching it only with one uh, bolt and then so what I'm going to do is uh, get these together and do a join on them so they're one piece and then what I'm going to do is pull these guys in okay so what I'm going to do is, again, back to my favorite tool, the Align, and boom. Oh, you know what? That was bad, Joe. So, sorry, this is a good lesson learned because now this is taking on the center of this larger shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to redo that error, undo that error, and I'm going to undo this. So I'm going to detach this because this still will be, let's align all this. And uh, notice we're kind of a skoshy bit in here. We're going to have to change our over our uh, movements here. And then what I'm going to do is simply edge this one into this piece until I have an edge. And then I'm going to edge this one just so gingerly back out until I just have an edge. And I think I've got it pretty much mated on both sides. What I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna give this an interesting, well, no, I can't. I take that back. So, um, you know what? I, well, I'm going to do something here uh, because I'm gonna need some room between these pads. Now, I gave myself a little bit of room, but I'm going to actually unjoin all this thing and uh, pull these apart a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this guy. And now notice I have him at 20. I'm going to make him 22. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to recenter my holes, which is an easy task. And since I didn't change the vertical orientation, I should be good. So now I've recentered that. Um, and I should have thought about this a little bit, but this is sort of designing on the fly. And that's what I do quite a bit here. And that's sort of what this video is about, is how do you design on the fly. So what I've now done 
is I have given myself one millimeter for a clear join on each side without the rail hitting these uh, circle pads. And so uh, the, the first thing I want to do is I want to come up and get all these three pieces and I want to do an align and I want to do that to center and I've got that in the center. Now I could get all particular and, and get the ruler but one of the things in, that I do when rapid prototyping is I sort of want to use what I'm working with just to get through it pretty quick. So I'm going to go back here to, to one over here and now you see I'm touching here so I'm going to select this and I'm going to bump it and that's one millimeter. Now actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my mind again. It's going to be my prerogative. I'm going to go to half a millimeter and then I'm going to bump it. And what that's going to do is get, that's going to give me a half a millimeter of playroom in this. Now we're not designing for... Um, now to adjust this out I'm going to have to go back to point one just so I bump it. So I'm right there. So now you notice back here I'm going to go to, to point five select this and I'm gonna bump it and so now you can see I'm pretty much equidistant on both sides here and I'm gonna have my I'm gonna have about a half a millimeter on each side so the rod or sorry not the rod but the rail should not hit the um, the uh, uh, circle pads and that's what I want to avoid so once again I want to highlight these and then I want to do the align just to make sure and I am aligned here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my join to make all this one object. Now notice I'm a little bit off on the height here. So I wonder what the story is with that. Um, because I wanted that to be the same height. Let's see if let's let's see how we can fix this. Let's take this apart. And let's take this apart again. Ah, uh, okay. So one of the problems I forgot to mention here is because we overlapped because of the angle on this, see how it's recessed in. So it is the same height, but what happened is the angle is recessed into this. So now what we're going to have to do uh, is pick this up. Now I'm going to show you how to cheat. So I'm going to cheat. So there we go. We cheated. Now, you say, but Joe, that looks ugly, and it does, but I'm going to show you how to fix it. I'm going to do the same thing over here, is I'm going to ungroup this, and this is one of the things I forgot because I was doing it so quickly, is again, I'm going to do this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, and I'm going to highlight all these pieces and group them. So basically, I'm going to show you now how to fix this problem. So what we're going to do is we know that this is 20 high. So I'm just going to bring in another cube, a whole cube. And then I'm just going to make it kind of wide. And I'm going to make sure my settings down here are at 0.1 millimeter, uh, which is a little bit arbitrary, but uh, I kind of like that anyway. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up. Now notice my height over here is 19.9. So what I'm going to do is just click in that box. I'm going to make it 20. And then what you can do is you can see it's just going to take off these peaks. And then so I'm going to zoom out and I'm just going to highlight this whole thing. I like going sometimes bigger is better, so that's why. And then voila, we now have, it now matches the top. So I'm going to change this to actually orange. I prefer orange. I can see orange better. Uh, whoops. Now, but I think we did, I think the problem is we accidentally caught this guy in, in the grouping. So I'm going to ungroup and just regroup this this piece all right so now we have to add this guy back in and uh, I, yeah, I think uh, you know what I'm gonna go 5.9 just to be on the safe side I want to give myself a little bit of wiggle room here and I'm just gonna bring this in and my mouse hit the keyboard so I couldn't center it uh, where I wanted now I want to make sure that this isn't poking through the back side and we really don't, I'm not sure, need it this long. So we just needed to keep it from rotating the, um, the uh, uh, maker rail. So again, I'm going to highlight this whole section. And then I'm going to do my favorite tool. I'm just going to line via center. And since this thing is basically uh, symmetrical, there's going to be no problem. I'm going to click elsewhere. And then I'm going to click join. And I'm going to turn this orange. And we now have, uh, 
our maker rail foot for our project and so we can actually print this without any type of support and everything which is good and we'll put some felt pads on the bottom here and so tell you what let's head off and uh, do this okay so here we are back so again part of my plan was again to take these feet and I wanted to go with a little bit bigger stance mainly for aesthetic reasons and then what I'm going to do is put these feet on the bottom that I just picked up at the local big box hardware store like this and uh, just kind of center them and what will happen is that will give me my gap so I didn't have to print a gap here and this will be leveling on, on the surface to a certain extent and then what happens is this, uh, remember I talked about this in the video, uh, this will act as a pin into the base of the maker rail keeping it from tipping and then what we'll do is we'll just put a bolt in here. And again I'll show a little bit more of this in another video, I just wanted to share the, just the design process of this piece. And again I need to, I need to clean, clean that out a little bit but if I flip this over where it's cleaner, uh, it's going to make a fibber out of me. but because uh, I just cut this piece off as being there we go but anyways again you see how this pops in yeah, that's kind of interesting looking so anyways just wanted to share this with you guys I'll put this out on Thingiverse uh, it might be a handy little thing you know especially if you're doing something with 2020 maker rail I love this stuff I've got tons of it I've got 2020 2040 and I love making things out of it so hopefully you did too so anyways Hopefully you found it interesting. You got a few tips. Um, and you kind of saw a little bit of my thinking of how I design things, especially when I just sit down and I want to rapidly design something. So, uh, hey, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. And, hey, maybe you want to see me design something um, that you're interested in. If it's not a big project, let me know down below. I'll consider it. Uh, and then don't forget, swag shop up there and subscribe button over there. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.